Okay, welcome back everybody to another awesome video. We've got something really fun that's happening today. Um, do you know what it is? Uh, exactly. Right, so we're heading off to the um, the LRO uh, show at Belvere Castle, which is the Land Rover Owners International Show uh, at Belvere Castle. I think they usually, don't usually um, uh, host it at the castle. They're usually, I think, in Peterborough somewhere, but this is a new location. I've never been before. Unfortunately, we are not taking the 110, which I'm very disappointed about. It's just not ready. It's not MOT'd. But we'll go and have a look. It's a day out. I'm looking forward to it. You're looking forward to it, yeah. aren't you? Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. We're just walking the dog. Um, get that done. It's a lovely morning. It's peaceful, foggy. Let's hit the road. Bye-bye. <laughs> Next year. Is he? Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Look at these, hey? Is that much Keep on going. This is very smart. I, I'm not sure whether I can see. Is it's not the leather upholstery, leather child seat in this, which is just it's no, it's, it's not cool. It's above cool. It transcends cool. Tell me about the. Um, it's designed really to fill a gap in the market where um, the likes of Overbeach and Hayes are similar market. So it's really about. Them. I know, it's terribly rude. There's so many people. Oh, and there's so many people. No, 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 Again, okay, another one. Maybe if you get the opportunity to go and have a look at this. Oh. Go stand next to that. Go stand next to that. What a beast. Huh? Look at that blue one, Daddy. Another one Ideas. Right. I've already got a little trailer. It's Guy Martin's Land Rover. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we're getting the wind from the judge. Now that what I can't work out is whether they're trying to re recover Zach or winch Joe up. All will become clear. Yeah, oh there you go. So Zach's obviously having a problem that we can't see. He's asking to be winched to his over to the crowd the crowd there. In the meantime you've got Scott Haynes just dropping off the lock step and I can see the back of Duncan's scar behind him, the 45 car. Um, so over there there's a little bit of a fall and a, and a, a vertical sort of uh, longitudinal long run. I tell you what, I'm stuck in your face, you know, it's probably... <laughs> So, so that, that vehicle there is the exception to the Lander of Rule. There is not one Lander of a component on that vehicle. That has got a VW Polo engine in the middle of it, 1.8 diesel, and it sits between the driver and co-driver's knees in the cab. Like you do? Yeah. It's incredibly light and nimble, um, but normally ends up upside down. But he has to try and roll it. It doesn't just roll. So we've got Joe there, he's just lifted his boat on, he's going to drop the front wheels down off of that drop. So that drop is about four feet, I seem to remember. So what you'll see is, he'll drop it onto the radius arms, gently, there you go, but it won't stop. There you go, so he's, now he's, when, when we first started doing this with John and the Jayla and Aggie team, we started quite with skips and bits and pieces, this has evolved into this, the small element that obviously comes from the US. Which challenge is sort of all but disappeared? There are still a few. Uh, and a sex of pop, set of pop uprated standard fit stock absorbers. There you go, we've got Duncan climbing the rocks the other way. He'll drop down into the wet, soggy puddle. Again, winching up the Scott. There's a degree of naughtiness going on in the seesaw. And the rear vehicle, of course, is sitting on it. Which means it's <laughs> No, he's not. He's not on it. Oh. Bear in mind, the engine in this car is in the middle of the cab. Literally in the middle of the cab. If you ever get to see it, it's a real feat of, uh, of engineering. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I thought it would be rather fitting that I'd join you back where we started. Um, I have to say there was so much there, I just physically couldn't film it all. I mean, I didn't have enough cameras. I didn't have enough battery and I didn't have enough memory so um but yeah I got as much as I could it was a I'd never been before so I didn't really know where to head you know best so I had to look around the whole thing and it was mega if you ever want to go or get the chance to go definitely go um Belvere Castle I say I'd never been before so I don't know what it was like last year but Christ, that was a, a place, I tell you. Uh, it's something out of a fairy tale. The, the castle up on the hill, the lake, and there's another hill, the other side, a valley. And they're, they're sending Ultra 4 trucks off into the woods in the distance. And it's like, oh my God, it was amazing. Um, the Ultra 4s, I think, they, that's what, I think that's what they're called, um, on the arena. That was mega, really enjoyed it. Um, the only thing was, it was about 32 degrees, which here in England is bloody hot and um and yeah it, it got it, by towards the end of the day it got a bit tedious and everyone was a bit hot and sticky and a bit tired and titchy so um hence why there wasn't a lot of talking i just wanted to get around we did some clips we you know we i saw boris i saw boris the defender so shout out to him oh mate that was good i was well pleased to saw that and um and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video um, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button put something in the comments um, maybe say hi if you were there and um, and yeah we'll see you in the next video so look at that it's a nice drive home as well a really nice drive home super nice sunset anyway thanks guys catch you in the next video bye